Welcome back to the Illusion Channel, Zykor here. And in today's area showcase, I'd like to showcase the Hermit Forest. Now, for some reason, they did not include the, for, the a paw pass for the Hermit Forest in G1. I don't know why. I, G1? No, they didn't even include it in HR. I don't know why. So this is only an LR uh, paw pass, which is kind of weird. They included a Dawnwind Valley one in HR, but not in, but not these others. There's a couple more, a couple in here that I'll do. But the first one here will be the the Hermit Forest. Now, as far as I remember, this one, well, for one thing, it is an LR two star. Yeah, really low level. <laughs> But as far as I remember, the Hermit Forest is is where you first encounter Bailaday. And I think like Kutku, uh, Velocidrome, Bulldrome, you know, all the dromes. All the dromes that would be in a forest anyway. And this is the, this is actually the first place I actually battled Bailaday in in my Bailaday showcase so this is the camp nice quaint little camp in the trees makes you like like to be among the wilderness just take my stuff here now the best which is the which place I should go first yeah, I'll, I'll just come around to five later. So I'll go to one here. Now this is a nice area. I mean, <laughs> it's... There's usually both angles here. <laughs> oh yeah, they're always here just to grief you. Um, but nice little river, some fishing spots. The river goes around the corner over there and kind of comes from over here. Looks like there's a... Ah, no. Uh, oh, let me go back there. Didn't want to be here yet. Yeah, it looks like if you look in the distance there, there's some a bunch of trees. But I guess since I can go through six and three, I'll head to... I guess I'll just head to six right now. It's probably the best. So six here is a lot of times where you'll battle Kutku and um, Garuga. What else? There's probably several others, especially Bela Day. Even Kramin, I think, has been here sometimes. I think. Huh, I could be wrong on that one. Huh. The leaves move when you run into them? Oh, that's kind of cool. I never noticed that before. Huh. That's interesting. So some nice little water over there. And these nice broken off trees are actually kind of unique. Um, then you see into the cave there. Even though there's not really a cave there because Area 3 isn't a cave. These trees all look, you could say, run down with vines hanging from them. Huh. So I'll just head to area three here. Area three is a pretty nice place. It's a nice wide open area. There's a lot of cobwebbing up there. You can tell the Bela Day's been here. <laughs> yeah. Nice big tree in the center. That is one giant tree. <laughs> if only giant trees like this existed in real life. <laughs> The biggest tree I know of is a redwood tree, and they're not that big. And, of course, there's bullfangos here. Yes, more bullfangos. So, I'll just run around here. This is a pretty big area. But a lot of trees on the ground and broken trees. Um, nice river that runs by. Fishing spot. What's this gather spot that I just found here? Over there. Or is it just... Oh, no. Just mushrooms, I see. So, a nice little river. And trees in the water. That's a nice touch. 
And then vines that are growing up. Or wait, are those even vines or are they trees? Let's see. I can't tell. It looks like a tree from down here, but then up there it looks like a vine. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I think they're supposed to be vines. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, now the area, the way up to area two is right here, but I'll head to area. Oh, wait, no, I'll just head to area two. That would be the best way to go, of course. And of course the bullfang goes. So, and there's more cobwebbing. I'll just head up to area two. As long as I don't get hit off by a bullfang. There we go. <laughs> they can't get me anymore. Now, there's generally both angles here as well, and I'm surrounded by three of them. Now, this, uh, a, lot of a lot of times, is the very first area you'll encounter Kutku in, like, the first hunts. And, uh, I think, like, Bulldrome. So you can come all the way over here. Uh, let's see if I can see down there. Now, technically, this big, huge tree here is supposed to be the big tree that is down below in area three. Yeah, stupid vest boy, get away from me. Because to get to area three, you just go back the way you came up, which actually they did a good job depicting because you have to jump off this, because but you just climbed up. So they actually thought about that. Okay, now I'll head to area four. Let's see if I can see if anything over here quick. Uh, you don't really get to see much. Nice hills, though, and with a lot of trees on them. Although, with that much rock on those, on those uh, mountainous spots, why would there be so many trees? <laughs> I don't really know. Anyway, okay, going over to four here. It's in a cave. Now, four is generally the first area you encounter Bailaday. It's a Definitely a cave. <laughs> I mean, a pretty nice cave. Uh, but it can be kind of creepy if you look at it because I believe up there, those are Bailaday eggs. As well as these. They're like all over the place. <laughs> Even up there. Now, one thing I actually didn't get to um, show in my Bailaday showcase is Bailaday sleeping. Because. Normal monsters, as you might know, just lay down on the ground to sleep. But Bailaday is completely different. Bailaday, at least only in this map, because on other maps, I think he does lay down on the ground to sleep. But in this area, Bailaday will be right here, curled up in a ball in this cobwebbing. Yes. So that is a pretty unique sleeping mechanism that they made for Bela Day just in this area, this spot, this map. Nice feature though. I mean, pretty nice attention to detail for that because Bela Day won't do that in any other map and there isn't any other special uh, sleeping uh, positions for other, any other monsters as well. Just Bela Day, just in this spot. Be nice if they added more stuff like that, though. And this is Area 5. Another air cave area. Uh, generally, in Area 4, I have never seen Bailaday do his swing attack. The only place I've seen Bailaday do his swing attack is Area 5 here. Uh, in this map. Now, of course, those are... I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's an Aptonoth, isn't it? Yes, that's an Aptonoth. <laughs> I see. An Aptonoth and cobwebbing. Uh-huh. Makes me wonder if these are eggs or some other stuff. Can't tell. And Bartholomew is gathering me uh, uh, it, metal for me. Metal? Ore. And then this way goes back to area three. So... I'll just head to back to the camp and turn in my paw pass. And the camp, you actually have to climb up this, which you don't actually see any place to climb up 
right here, but it's just this little wall right here. You just climb right up the wall. Why he doesn't need handholds, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, anyway then, yeah, that is the Hermit Forest. Just turn him up off ass here. But, if you like this video, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe. And hit that bell icon to be notified when we upload more episodes. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.